time I've played this since I beat that horrible fucking room. The mirror room nightmare. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm pretty low HP, fittingly. I have to fill up a bit. And let's see. We gotta do the butler room, pick up some fire. It's weird that I don't have fire. I guess it doesn't carry over when you save the game and quit. I'm not sure. It seems too loud almost, but it's okay. Uh, do I dare try to do this with this little HP? We have to go left. Down the... Pick up the fire. And I'm not worried about the boo right now. Let's just get the fire. And... Um... I guess I can light these up. I forget what this does. I couldn't give you a key because there's no key linked to this room. Let's see what we can do. Maybe it just lights it up. It does give you a key. Shows you how well I remember this. Which one though? Oh, this is the basement. Okay. Or no, it's not. Oh, it's for the same butler thing. It's just that you have to... Um, you wouldn't have been able to follow him in there unless you got that. I get it. I forgot about that key altogether. Alright, so we gotta light this guy's fire so he could be anywhere. I don't really care about that, but it's weird that I can't get it. He could be walking some... Good start. Good start. Alright, so like I said, we have to get the fire. This health situation is going to be annoying. I don't know where I'm going to find any. Just don't get hit. Let's do the same thing again. Find that stupid butler. Then we can do melody, kitchen, dining room, graveyard, all in sequence. I'm sure none of those rooms will be especially difficult. Stupid riding the vacuum. Can't move while doing this, but you still do because you're not meant to be riding this shit the whole game. Yeah. So pick up this key up top. Alright, so we could go, we could go there first. This is the basement though. Did I do anything down here yet? I don't think you can. You have to turn this on later when you, uh, when the power goes out. You can't do anything with it. Alright, so let's find this butler. Where is he? Or no, let me try to... Let me clear this room first. That way, in case we keep dying, at least we... Got the key and everything. So this is the washroom. Find Mario's hat in here. Let's see how hard this is going to be to start. Mm -hmm. 
How come there's no enemies here yet? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a bad position for it, though. There's no room in here, dude. You're gonna get fucked. I have to double take. I can't even do that. I guess if it's just two at once, it's fine. I just don't want anything else to spawn. Good catch on the master. That was pretty clutch. Otherwise, I would have gotten hit. Can we not take them both? Nice. Alright, this is clean. This is clean. What you gotta do. I gotta get better at these double takes. Uh, gives you more health. I think it increases the chance if you do it like this. Or maybe that's just if you... Fuck, I missed it. Okay, this is the part I was worried about. Maybe I have to double take this too. It makes it easier actually being in a smaller room because you're more likely to get it. You don't have to worry about them spawning in different parts. You don't be greedy, you don't be greedy. Chip away. The blue one's a lot slower with its attack, so I should take out that one for a second. Like Ornstein and Smog. Take out the smaller one first. Or take them both out together, which you can't actually do. I'm not going to be able to finish them, though. They fight too hard. Definitely not the blue one. And I got hit by that. Damn it. Now the heart's up there. I can't even get it. Fuck. I don't remember that. I don't remember his voice changing from that. When you go mini, I guess I've never called for Mario when I'm mini. That's weird. Okay, that was an easy room, though. That was pretty easy. But this is just money. So let me... See, so we could go... In here. But there's nothing to do in here until we get the butler. So let's keep going. I can always come back for the booze later. I better just keep saving it because... The animation looked weird of him opening the door. Um, I better save it because if I die at any point, it's just going to take forever. Every room is its own challenge, so you don't have to prove anything by not saving it. Alright, let's find this guy. I haven't seen him once. Where is he? He's usually roaming around right here. Good. I mean, that wasn't very fair. I got stun locked. Why am I moving so slow? Aren't I? What's that? Wait. What's going on? It feels like I'm moving much slower than normal. Hmm. Anyway, let's take care of this guy. Oh, is it bugged out? I can't open the door. This happens sometimes. Fuck. Uh, how do I close that? Yeah, I won't let you open doors. This could really fuck me sometime. No idea why that happened either. Probably just because the game is so heavily modified. You can't handle all this shit. I'll slowly regen my health at least this way. Just kind of cheese, but it's deserved because this game is way too fucking hard. 
So we gotta get the fire again every time we die. That part's gonna be annoying. But I don't think I'm gonna die to this guy anyway. He's just a fucking portrait ghost. Those tend to be easier than just the regular mobs because they're pretty much the same or slightly different. But they're not too aggressive typically, so it doesn't matter. Still do like double damage, but. Where is he? Right here. Don't blow me up on the way. I wonder if I can just go there ahead of him and wait. Or if you have to wait for him to do all this drama. I swear it feels like I'm moving slower here. Fuck. Come on, please let me open it. It's not. What the fuck? I guess I'll have to try to go first. And see if it lets me. Ah, I hate when stuff like this happens and you don't know why. I'm just farming health anyway. You gotta stop getting blown up by those stupid things though. Alright. You try again. I'm glad I saved it then because I would have been fucked. I don't know what it is about doors. They glitch out sometimes. You just can't open them. Alright, so we'll go here. And let me light his torch, his candles, and then I can just um, go there ahead of him. That's the point. Let's go there ahead of him. Don't wait for him. I don't know if that'll break the scripting of it or not, but I can't open the door anyway, normal. Okay, it'll let me do it. Let's just wait for him. It should still work. Please? Yeah, okay, good. Nice. Alright, so we just take care of this guy. We can toy around with the secret room, I suppose. Like he's having a heart attack. Let me ease your suffering. See, these are easy. Portrait goes are the easiest part. Oh, I should probably get these. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, so this will be Melody's room. Music sheet girl. It's right there. I should save it. By catching a boo, how about that? That'd be easy enough. Real men don't save, they just catch a boo and it saves it for them. Ah, uh, if I can catch up to him. What the hell is it? Come on. Ah, uh, you can't get him too good in hallways. He went like down here? I don't know what that means. Oh, it's probably the other room then. The fortune teller's room? Somehow it counts as this room, yeah. Come on, eight, seven. Now you're killing yourself by going in the light. That was a fatal miscalculation on your part. I'm on fire in the fire room. <laughs> Alright, so we saved it. Let's do the next room. Which is optional secret room. I probably shouldn't even try it, but... 
Let's try once at least. Where is it? I forget, how do I even... Oh, here. Here we go. Now, this is one of those rooms that's hard even in the original game. So you have to be very... Cautious. Super cautious. So make sure you don't awaken more while you're fighting this one. Take them out cleanly without disturbing the other ones. Don't open the chests. Don't do anything risky. See that one's bumping a little bit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be safe. Be smart. Okay. If we do it one at a time, we have a chance. Let's see who's in box number two. That actually was money. Okay. Okay, these aren't too bad. Not terrible. Make sure I don't open any more in the process of catching this guy. It's so easy one-on-one. -on -one. You can just take him in one shot. But when they gang up on you, it's impossible. Sometimes. Okay, we got him clean. Give me some health. See who's in this one. Nobody. No money either. That's just a debate. This one. Oh, it's only these mask guys. I thought it's the pink ones, the blue ones. These are nothing. It's a lot easier than I thought. Does I say that he breaks my tackle thing? That's what I should call it, breaking my tackle. Right now I'm tackling him. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, one at a time is a joke, and I keep getting hit as I'm saying that. Don't get too cocky. Okay, I accidentally opened that one, but it's okay. Just on time. Or, I mean, I meant to do that. Just don't walk into them. That's what I keep doing. My main source of damage is just walking up and touching their body. For no fucking reason. Okay, easy take. And we didn't even have to open the last chest. Let's see. What's in this chest? More money. What happens if I light these torches? Probably nothing. Unlocks a super boss or something. Actually nothing happens, what the fuck? Well, guess that's all right. These fucking gems. Not, I'm not really worried about money in this run, but you know, if it's right there, we may as well take it. Although I have been getting gold portraits a lot, just because I'm naturally that good at sucking them up. So which side did I come from? Like behind here to the top. Yeah, right there. What? Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm not worried about booze right now. We can always come back. I'm just, I want to keep it moving here. So, go back to the save, get some health. And then we can... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that animation. Looks different this time. When he opens this big door. Yeah. So we are at Melody on the top right here. Also throws me for a loop because it's mirrored from the original game, so... It's on the opposite side. This is Melody here. 
Did it crash? Or no, that's the billiards room, I think. So it's mirrored uh, horizontally, but not vertically. Otherwise, that would have been flipped too. You just have to start all the objects here. The instruments. Every single one. Not really much of a puzzle, but... A Mario, Super Mario theme. Melody. You have to guess what it's from. We know exactly which one. Okay. Guess I was right. Let's take her easy as can be. Yeah, portrait ghosts are gonna be a joke. No question about it. It's almost disappointing how easy they are compared to everything else. Or maybe I'm just that good. There should have been more music sheets or something at least, but that might be too hard to do. Now we go to the kitchen. Area here. Maybe I should use the boo to save. I don't want to keep going back to the beginning every time. Only got 50 health. There was a 300 one earlier, so I don't know how that worked. In this mode, like, maybe they, it's just random. Come on, only nine left. Please. Fuck. I'm gonna die trying to get it. Would've been better off saving in the bathroom with that stupid toad. This health situation is gonna be shit. Problem here is the waitresses are gonna keep bringing him more food and they'll probably have 200 health each, too. That could be very tough. Cause you won't be able to kill them, you can just keep flashing them away. For fuck's sake. I was sucking it up, but I guess I moved forward too. Are you fucking serious? I have a little bit of comic relief. And gotta get some more health too. Fuck, no health either. Punished. Fuck off. Can't even open the goddamn door. I hate that bug. I don't know how to fix it either. It's just sometimes you can't open any doors. But I just did that so I can get more health. Not much health. Alright. Can we please get in here without getting hit? Don't trip on the stupid banana. Just stand still. Stand still. Don't move when you're sucking them. Okay, all the bananas are gone. I have to light up his thing, but I also have to suck his food. I don't know what uh, order those have to be done in. It probably doesn't matter. Uh, for fuck's sake. Stupid ass vacuum controls. Alright, so we have to take the food off his plate. Only question I have here are the stupid waitresses. But it doesn't matter, I guess we just have to flash them. Like crazy. We can't kill them, obviously. They'll just keep coming. And 
than us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh. This is a different kind of challenge. You just have to react. They don't do any damage. It's just fucking hard to get rid of them. For fuck's sake. Lost to food. Dude. They won't give me a chance to fucking... How, like, how much do I have to suck this fucking piece of poop? Hello? Oh, do I have to have the fire lit again? Ah, oh, this is fucking annoying. I think because the fire went out, that's why. No, it's already unlit. How does this work? Why the hell can't I get it? What the fuck is happening? Dude, what? Ugh. This should be the same as the regular game. I don't see why this would be any different. What the fuck? You can see the animation of it coming towards you. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Lost to food. Oh, they're there. The angle is so hard to see what the fuck is happening. Dude, what is this? Why does it take so long? He's eating it too. I don't understand fucking anything. Dude. What the fuck? It takes like five seconds in the original game. It's taking like an hour. No, no. Dude, what the fuck? I'm obviously getting the angle wrong, but I can't see. It's gone. Oh, now he shoots the fire. He shoots the fire. You have to make sure the waitresses still don't fill up his food, or maybe they stop spawning. So you just do this for a while, then he gets tired. Same old kind of shit. Damn, he's not getting tired anytime soon, huh? What the fuck? There we go. Let's just take him in one shot so I don't have to do that nightmare shit again with the waitresses. Come on, come on, you fat fuck. Okay, we got it. Now this next room I'm very interested in. This could be very difficult. Any room where it's a little open and they have a ton of different mobs at once could be challenging. There's a lot of those coming up. We unlock the water thing too, water element. I think that deserves a save. Open this, but probably not more health. I really could use a 50 heart somewhere. Tough to come by these days. Alright. Alright. Got through here. Let's see what this has in store for us. This room I'm kind of scared of. This seems like it could be a nightmare. Wait, the frying pan. Somebody in the fridge. This 
take all the fucking utensils before you do anything. Don't get hit by the mouse. Oh, this hits you though, too. If you get too close, it'll whack you in the face. It's so hard to keep it in a straight line. Fuck. You have to hit it with fire and then do it. You only have to do it once, though, I think. Just first hit. Not too bad. As long as it's one at a time. See, even that new mechanic threw me off, even though I know it's there. I got hit just because of that. Not because my reaction time sucks or anything. I don't think these are very common either. You don't see too many of these ice pink ghosts. Okay, what else we got? It's the regular one. And another. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright. I mean, my health is low going in, so it's kind of hard to justify it. I guess every time I die, I'll get 10 more health, because I'll keep saving it. Kinda cheese, but there's no other way to fucking cover health. <gasps> Not that I'm gonna die anymore, of course. Gotta get the fire. What if I go in there without fire? I'm just softlocked? I guess you can just leave. It doesn't lock the door or anything. You gotta suck these stupid frying pans and shit first. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I guess you don't even have to suck them, you just have to dodge it. I don't know what that food thing was. Was it me just being bad at aiming it, or was it really increased difficulty on how long that takes? Seems like such a random thing. Alright, we pop this guy open. We hit him with fire right away. I can't believe I got hit by that. Comboed. Dude, do they keep respawning the pans? There's no way. There's no way. Keep getting first hit it by these stupid things. Give me some help. This guy's easy enough. It's the next two that give me trouble together. But it's nothing too spectacular. Not bad, not bad. Let's just back off and see what happens. Okay, they just spawn right on top of you. Wait, there's three. What the fuck? Well, as long as I break their ice once, then I can just toy with them, right? There's four. What the fuck? Well, I was right about this room potentially being a nightmare. But it's basically like the second room again. Just... You have to use the fire once. I've done it before. I mean, I can do it again. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. RNG. Yeah. That's definitely helpful. I can't get hit at the beginning 
the way that I'm getting stupidly hit by dishes and as soon as I open the fridge. Let's get all the utensils out of the way. Come on. Oh, I, I didn't expect that. But that guy doesn't attack you. Fuck. Lost to a mouse. Feels like one of these keeps respawning forever. They kept coming. See, that one keeps coming back. Unless you have to suck it up for it to be gone for good. I don't know how it works. Can you just go away? Dude, I'm right in his face with the fire. Okay. Let's take care of this guy in one shot. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll try to stay in one corner of the room. Let's hit, let him come to me. I guess I could always just pussy out and leave the room. But that's not cool. Okay, let's see where they spawn, how many spawn. See, he just... That's so unfair. Maybe I can keep these two in a corner and not aggro the other ones. I mean, it's, it's kind of scary. Okay, just flash him, wait for the other one. He doesn't feel like showing up today. So flash him, wait for the other one. They're not spawning together. I'll just take him then. Fuck it. Not bad, don't go too far. Play it safe. Don't go too far. Okay. Just chip away. Okay, flash one, suck one. Too far, too far. That might have been a mistake. I don't want those other two on my ass. Don't be greedy now, don't be greedy. That's kind of greedy. Okay, he's going in the corner though, like he wants to get fucked. Ah, too far, too far. Okay, take this one for 15, take this one full. Can we not finish him off? No, he's going too far right. Okay, take what you can off of this guy. This is how you gotta play. Coming up, it's gonna be... It's worse and worse. As soon as I say that, I get hit. For fuck's sake. I gotta stop saying anything remotely positive about my player. I always fuck up. Okay, 55. Take him down to zero. Just flash him. Avoid that stupid mushroom. Finish him off. And then we got two more at least. On the far side here. Let's creep over. Make sure we don't get surprised by anything. There's one. And there's definitely another one. But if he doesn't want to show up yet, that's fine by me. I don't see him. Okay. Take care of him real quick. And there's one more ice one. There he is right there. Ooh, gotta watch out because I can't flash him yet. Ah! Uh, I got hit just by his body again, like I said. Don't be greedy. 
I double take for the win. Double take, grab one. Get that HP if I could. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't really need it. This should be the end. This should be it. Yeah. That was moderately challenging, but basically the same as the first level room two. Now we just got the graveyard and the boss. The dog. So I should save it now for sure. 100% should save it. So I squandered some of that health I got, the 50, but it's okay. That was a pretty tough room, I'll give it that. So open this bad boy. And it still gives me more. Very fortuitous chest. Dresser, whatever. Let's take care of Mr. Bones and the dog. This boss should be easy. I don't know how much different it could possibly be. I forget what do you have to do. You can give him water and then steal his bone. Why is he attacking me? I'm giving him new water, dude. What the fuck? Uh, am I not supposed to give him water? There we go. Throw him a bone. And we got rid of him. Oh, I don't- oh, I think you have to kill him. To kill him first. And then he drops the real bone that he can eat. The other bones are not technically counted, I guess. Let's just take care of him. The dog's fast asleep. And this is pretty easy though, all things considered. Yeah, so go eat that. Go eat that. Don't attack me. Okay. Easy one shot. Making big progress today. So I should probably save it again. I just don't want to have to redo too much for no reason. Let's just do it once. Basically, we're going to the boss. There are a few enemies in the next room, but yeah, I don't know if I should count that as a room. It's the cemetery. So after one room with the mirrors that took me like four hours, we've done all of these rooms in like one hour. Like five rooms. So you see how my pace is so much better this time. That one fucking room just ruined me. I'll never forget it. Alright, so there's a couple bone guys here. There's a little health. This should be no challenge at all, though. I said there should be health, not a toxic mushroom. Shit. 
pick that shit up, dude. Ah. Uh, dude, I just said this shouldn't be that hard. Look at what the fuck's happening. What is this? There's like six of them. What the fuck? Uh, I guess their attack pattern isn't that hard, but man, maybe I can prevent them from spawning by not hitting all the graves and stuff. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Chip away. Oh, this is going to be fucking stupid. Oh, you can't be serious. I was just bragging about how easy it's been today. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a legit room right here. <laughs> oh shit. I was waiting for I was waiting for one like this. What am I at? 40, 20. Ooh, it's being very generous though. Very, very generous. Let me try not to aggro them all at once, but it might not let you. I can't think of a really good strategy for this. Because they're all spread out. They don't really stand on top of each other. They keep tossing shit at you. For God's sake. Stop reading the sign. Alright, so we got 72 health. Alright, so what if I just stand back here? What will happen? Or is there like one for each grave? Will he spawn on his own? I don't know how this works. Go. Oh, isn't that going to let me climb up? Because I'm riding my vacuum. For fuck's sake. I don't know. They're all just going to spawn at once. Why did they even put fire here? There's nothing that needs fire. I don't know about this. Come on, I can do it though. It's just got to be patient. Don't be greedy. Reduce them to a manageable number every time. Flash, 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 flash. Um, take this one, take this one. Ah, oh, fuck. Missed my shot. Yo, this is madness. Yo. <laughs> this is what it's all about, though. The animation where you get stunned when they appear is the hardest part because you can get stuck and get hit no matter what. So you have to account for that. Like a stun lock. Fuck, I keep missing it. Come on, we can take this one. Just so many. The fuck do I do? I like when they lie down like that, but it doesn't last very long. Yeah, two for one. Could be helpful. Certainly thins them out. I'll, I'll take the hit if I have to. Because it's worth it just to thin the herd. It's worth it. Just be... Okay, it's worth it. It was worth it. Head damage for that much, I'll take. Look at those projectiles. Fucking oh, so much going on. Ah, oh. 
Gotta hit them at the perfect time of the light, otherwise they're gonna whack you. Ah, oh, I had that one. I still have it. Come on, come on. Finish one off, please. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Good dodge. Okay, don't get greedy. One down. Oh, I don't believe that. Can we finish this one off? We'll get hit again. I'm getting greedy now. Why aren't they going away? I keep flashing them. Oh, you're out of range. Come on, they don't do a terrible amount of damage. I just have to be smart. For fuck's sake, just get him. Good, good. Let him pull you, let him pull you. Good, good. Ah! Oh, stupid animation at the end. It's okay, it's okay. I gotta play super conservative now. Super safe, just... Oof. Uh, can't let them get that far away from you. Ah, they keep pinning me in that side. Take one. Guess you could say I'm boned right now. Fuck off. Ah, oh. they're not letting me get a hit in. Can't get a clean hit. Like, why is it harder with three of them than with five? I don't know why I can't get it. Dude, what's happening? Ah! Uh, can I not just get you? Putting myself too far away from them, I think. Uh, for fuck's sake. This could go on forever. Should have been a double take right there. I gotta remember to turn off my flashlight more, but I can't really focus. Fuck. Finally. Probably gonna get hit as a result, though. Good dodges, they're sinking. Let him pull you. Good move. Let him pull you again. I almost got hit by that. The jukes. Give him the jukes. We got this, we got this, just stay focused. I don't know how I don't get that one though. Oh. Can you please? I'm right in front of him, I'm hitting it. Like, why don't I get it? Okay, let him pull you, let him pull. Worst case scenario. Got stuck against the grave. Oh, I'm, I'm done, dude, I'm done. I'm not even going to take a chance. I'll just end it myself when they're about to hit me. I'll terminate it myself. Fuck off. Oh. 2 HP. Can I do the boss with 2 HP? Does it let you go back? Ah, for fuck's sake. Dude. The light doesn't come on quick enough. Like, oh. <laughs> Luigi knows they. I don't know what she said after that. Oh my god. <laughs> I did pretty well there. The way I took out two so quickly, but then I fell apart for some reason. 
That was pretty bad. My question is, can I come back after that? So imagine having to do that and then the boss fight. Not that the boss is hard, but... Do I have to do them in sequence? Like, can I go back across? Where is it? Oh yeah, you can go back. Or at least after I kill these. Okay, so I'll have 82 health. Best case scenario. Just have to play it safe from the beginning. 92. It's like it wants me to fucking succeed. To hit all the graves. Come on, just spawn. F immediate hit. Okay, flash those out. Maybe I should stand more in the middle here. Uh, I keep getting hit by their body then. Not really trying to target the same one, I'm trying to get two at once. Like right here, that was pretty helpful the first time. Let them pull you away, dodge it, dodge it. Get them at least below 100. Okay, that's a worth hit, that's a worthy hit. We got three at about 100 right now. About as good as it's gonna get. I hate that at the beginning where you're ready to get one. But the light doesn't come on fast enough. That's super annoying. Got two together. I'm going to get hit at point blank range. I'm being too reckless. Ah, get out of the way. For fuck's sake. Okay, yeah, good shot, good shot. Can I at least take out one? I can't take out any. Horrible performance. Oh, I'm just... I'm just throwing. Throw me a bone. A fucking... They're all so low, but I can't do anything. I just can't land a hit. I mean, I, I just can't do it. I basically had it the first time, I just kind of fell apart. It's not that hard. Um, I'll have a hundred at least now. Alright, we got this, we got this. Mm -hmm. The trick is you gotta get like two at the beginning for a big hit. And then once you get them low, you can chip them away. I like to get more than two together, but it's hard enough just to get two. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Just hit every single one, I think. Like, why can't I land a freaking hit? Let's not be greedy, just take off chunks at a time, it'll only take so long. Why is that so hard to land? I don't know. Something's wrong with them. Like, they don't get God. They don't get God. It's a joke to dodge, but you can't dodge while you're fucking sucking too well. But I get better at dodging while I'm talking, so let them pull you away a little bit. Can't even see what's happening. Gotta chain from one to one to one too. 
See, there's two. I still can't get them together. Fucking... Man... I guess I gotta turn it off. There's just no way I can do this. How? These guys must be like light resilient or something. It doesn't feel normal at all. I'm at 50. Just take it slow. So irritating. Why can't I hit them with a hit? Look at that. How is that not a hit? Because of the stupid vacuum riding thing. Fuck you. Okay, we got a couple of them pretty low. Hard to tell, obviously, which is which. Can we finish this off, please? Okay, we got one. Got a ruby. I don't think that's really important to me right now. Well, I guess I can't help it. Okay, so we got one cleanly. Two... Let's just take it very slowly from now. No need to rush. No need to be aggressive. They don't disappear unless you flash them. They just stay there and keep going down in the ground like that. You have to make a point to flash them. Okay. We gotta get one like this, which I can't do. I can't do it. Dude, why is that so difficult? <sighs> mm -hmm. Dodge all three together, we can get them now. Fuck. Mm -hmm. They're being so aggressive. If I can't get it in that angle, I'm going to have trouble later on. Like, this should be an easy take. Because you got to let him walk into it a little bit. Come on, move, move, why? Hmm. Like, he didn't want to get away. I was letting him get away and he wouldn't try to. My god. That is very triggering. You're right on top of him and you can't do it. Like, what the fuck? Come on, I got the tree as cover. Oh. No way. No word. There's too much stuff in your way. That's the problem. Okay, so we gotta just take one at a time. One at a time. Probably do it the opposite direction then. They keep spawning in the exact same spot though. Which makes it a little easier to predict. Can I take off a little bit? That should be very easy to keep track of. It should be good now, just don't get greedy at all. No, 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 no. He didn't get flashed. Yeah, they've got some light resistance or something. I swear to God. Other girls don't behave like this. You'll have it on them, but it won't count. For fuck's sake. Flash him out of here. Play it as safe as possible. Safe as possible. Don't bump into their stupid bodies either. Fuck. Alright, can we finish them off? Probably have to do one more attempt. One more, one more. Hit the tree, thank god. Alright, so he's done. Let's play it safe. Don't let him get one off. Don't even let him get it off. 
So hopefully I can go back after this. Surely it lets you. Yeah, I'm just practicing this. Why is this part so difficult? You have to like wait a second. You can't do it right away. My god. That was an adequately challenging room. I suppose. I love the kinds of scenarios that this mode creates. Like five of those at once. Please let me get out of here though and save it. Please. Ah, uh, don't make me do the boss with 10 hell. Uh, really? Are you serious? There's gonna be no health. I mean, I already hit these, I thought. Now I'll die to something stupid on the boss, and then I'll fucking have to do it again. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. At least that gives me a little protection, I think. Unless bosses just do more anyway, 20. I can't believe it doesn't let you go back. Even just for the normal game. Alright. To do a hitless run of the boss. Or can I not even do it? Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, how the hell do I get up there? Does it just not let you with the vacuum? What the fuck? Okay, I guess that works. We can make no mistakes here though, no mistakes. 20 health after doing that. Back to back rooms. Very tough, very tough. 